What's up guys, Garrett from Woodland Farms Holistics here and welcome to the channel. I just want to do a quick rundown of what we've got going on this year. We started last year in 2019 as a research hemp farm partnered with our local university here. And in 2020 we plan on doing that again. We want to explore kind of more options and document what we have going on on our farm this year and bring you all along for the journey. So uh, without further ado, let's dive into the video for today. Cheers. Giving a quick rundown of what we've got going on. We've got an experimental kind of raised bed. I've laid some uh, decay, kind of rotting wood that we had sitting around on our farm here. And I'm just going to do it in this front section here. The rest of the greenhouse is just going to be filled with solid soil. I just want to see how the uh, wood does in this raised bed here. So uh, it's a little windy out here today. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, catch in with you guys a little later. All right. So. It's a super windy one out here today. I wanted to kind of give you an up close view of how this is going as far as how I'm attaching these on here. Just pass it through. As tight as I can. Zipping it there. And again at the bottom. Try and get these as tight as you can. Again, they're definitely going to have some play in them when the soil gets into. Uh, the raised bed area. Get this through. There we go. Uh, when the soil gets into the raised bed, it's going to probably fill them out. They're going to definitely look a little bit wonkier. Um, but we'll see. So that's kind of how I'm doing this. Uh, I'll probably do a time lapse of the other side now, too. So. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got so real quick kind of why I'm doing this shape you're starting to see is I've realized on some of these beds behind me I didn't put enough soil down on the initial layer that I thought would be enough in here it's kind of tricky to get into these greenhouses with these hoops here because I can't just dump the soil in normally spread it nice and even with the bobcat. I have to dump it in the center and then kind of spread it by hand. So we're going to just kind of dig out the center that way when I dump the soil in it'll be much easier to spread and make these beds nice and even. So get back to shovel. Forever free. I need 
take a step back to see All right, I'm gonna take you for a quick ride along inside the Bobcat. So I don't know how much I'll be able to operate this. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. 